Uh, just coming back here, I put out a little couple of uh, ads. Hopefully, I can draw some uh, some attention to the stream. Um, let's see. I'm just doing a couple things here, real quick. Uh, Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Hey, guys, I'm back. It's all right. Uh, yeah, I was gonna toss an X in chat if you guys are still uh, you still out right now or <laughs> that's cool, man. Uh, I took a little longer than expected, so <laughs> okay. No, that's cool, man. Uh, I'm just gonna do something a little shorter here. That's what I'm doing. Expedition two. So, working on those. Man, I suck at field battles, man. All my troops are like short sword shield assault troops, you know? So, like, most of the field battles are hard for me. I, I usually go ranged. Just, I've got some ranged stuff to help me win, but... It's not how I want my character, man. I want, you know, medium attack assault, you know, guys. That's what I do the best with, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the infantry versus infantry I can win. No, this is pretty cool. So. Hmm. <laughs> That's how you fight, man. You gotta dodge. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man. That's kind of what I'm doing. I'm doing the expedition, so.
For some reason I thought I had something. I don't know. All right, so we're going to take these guys out, place them with some gunners. Huh. No, well, it's an expedition, so. Hmm. It's so nice to have all my guys in uniforms. Just looks cool. And this is intimidating. Like people run from you and stuff. They're like that person has special uniforms on all their guys, even though they have the same stats. I better run. Dude, you put them on peasants, dude, and they look like this well-disciplined spear unit or. You know what I mean? You can't really tell the difference, you know? Well, yeah, if you look closely, you know. But, like, I got a, pl a, a peasant platoon, dude. It looks just like a big group of spearmen, you know? If they have a wooden shield, it kind of gives them away. But, like, or my gunner unit. Like, you can't tell the difference between my, my four-and-a-half-star gunner unit and my... Uh, my three-star gunner unit. They, they have almost no difference to them at all now. It's funny, Healer and I kind of started at the same time. So, like, I got him to get into the group. So. Does he? Oh, yeah, in town. Yeah, I do that too a lot, I'll admit. He's cool, though. Yeah, we both learned how to play the game together, kind of. So. That was cool. And I was like, dude, you got to go to Diacheng because I found this really awesome faction that, you know, there's a lot of people. So we migrated to, to join you guys. Yeah, it was cool. Haven't regretted it. Been cool people the whole time, so I've been pretty happy about it. <laughs> the... I was messing around too much and I died. <laughs> oh well. I hate that level 60 plus because I want to look at my allies and be like, okay, are they strong enough to take those guys out? You know?
Mon Wave 4. <laughs> the moment. So. Yeah. We're getting pretty close, so. Is it weird if I, like, try to protect every soldier? Like, I'll see one soldier get isolated and about to die, and I'll save him. <laughs> like, I'm super meticulous about everyone surviving. I've gone through three waves with this group, and I've lost one soldier. I'm at 35 out of 36. So. Uh, iron cap. What? But I've been fighting aggressively on the front line with iron caps for several waves, and like I've only lost one soldier. So, but like I heal him in each round, and then I'm like, if I see one soldier about to die, I'll I'll save him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'll, I'll take a lot of caris to make sure like not a single one dies. If someone's about to die, I'll withdraw the whole unit and like you know save the one unit. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Nice. Wave five's about to hit. I can hear it. Nice. I'm still at 35. I haven't lost a single unit in like two waves now. So three waves now. But I might lose some here because there's a boss. I don't feel like I'm going to fight for him. Yeah. Yeah, killing the last guy right now. Okay. That worked timed out pretty well, actually. So. Yeah, because I'm about to exit combat now. Nice, I still didn't lose a guy, so I'm still at 35. That was cool. Very productive. <laughs> I lost six troops the entire round. And I killed 100, 191. So... For front, for front line, I mean, I'm, I'm doing okay. That's, I think I'm getting it. You just got to use them the right way, you know what I mean? Like, if you th just throw them in like they're trash, you know, then they're just going to die, you know? Like, you have to, like, find the right opportunities, the right things that you're good against, know what you're bad against, you know? If you're seeing the butt of a bunch of horses, chances are a shield charge will do a lot of damage, you know? So... I'll just, uh, here. Boom. You'll see an X. Why did, why did Shinra invite me? I don't know. Oh, I got Devoto. Oops.
Hold on. Okay, let me get out of this group. Okay, there we go. Oh, Shinara. Sorry, Shinara. Too much Final Fantasy. Played a lot of Final Fantasy in my day, bro. You don't know. Really? Wow. That's that's before my time. Damn, bro. I remember like watching my older cousin play that one. <laughs> but it was like before I was even able to game. Oh yeah. Dude. Dude, you should play one of my favorites is Final Fantasy 7. That was one of them that just really blew my mind. Yep. As you, you can get it on Steam, dude. It's cheap. So yeah, you should check that out, dude. It was fun, dude. It was many, many great memories. And they got like a cool magic junctioning system, which is kind of awesome because you could be like, you know, okay, the enemies in this general vicinity are hitting me with fire attacks. So you can use fire magic to give yourself a resistance to fire, like stuff you've taken from enemies. And then you can, like, give your sword an ice element, you know, for attacks. So things like that. So you can kind of, like, modify and junction abilities based on the situation and give yourself advantages, disadvantages. You can make your attacks put your enemy to sleep. Things like that. So you can, there's a really cool, like, junctioning system that you can use for everything and really just customize so much customization in it. That's what I loved about it, you know? Like, a lot of people didn't like it because it was kind of complicated to do it, but if you took advantage of it, you could make your guy, like, hella strong. Mm. It was pretty fun. You have to junction spells into your HP to make your HP go higher, so you can use really powerful spells to to give yourself more HP. So, it was kind of cool. I, I liked how they did it. So. Mm. Seven? Nah. No, that was like 2007. <laughs> 2000, or, or, 2000, or sorry, no, 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 no. That was like 1998 or something. Oh, that, 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 that was the remake that came out on Steam, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they remade it for the computer and set it up so people could play it still. Hmm, what do I want to start with? Okay, dude, I'm going to start with my peasant platoon. you got to see these guys. Um, they're just, they're scary, but they're peasants, dude. It's my, uh, the one right above the pitchforks. So. Yeah, the watchmen, dude. But look at these things, dude. They're freaking, they're, they look mean, dude. Like, I wouldn't charge into them. Like, <laughs> if I just saw them randomly on the field, you know. Yeah, no, they're they're elites too. Yeah, which is also you know also good. So, okay. I can't shoot worse shit, so I don't grab cannons. I just guard you guys. <laughs> so. Uh, it's a waste for me to have a cannon. So. Dude, look at these guys. Look at them. Shinara. They're right next to you. Oh, did he get you? Uh, he, he's not getting hit. He's he's still, still, go, still up. Still up. I didn't get him. It's coming back. Ugh. They just went over there. They're in the black. Don't they look mean, dude? Like... 
But yeah, just just peasants, dude. Just I want to like have a whole bunch of peasants just dressed in black like that. I've got five of them right now, or sets of the uniform. So like I could just throw like really scary looking peasants <laughs> at people. Oh no, I lost peasants. I've still got 33 of them. What's someone coming up? Uh, got a lot of units coming in up here, but I got them. They're just weaklings. Guy's mean. He's hurting me. I need my safe space. Bullyproof windows. Troll safe doors. <laughs> you guys ever see that South Park? Nothing but kindness in here. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude, I was actually in fourth grade when that came out, and I watched it when I was in fourth grade, for sure. They, it influenced my, uh, just everything, I think. Just, I think I actually qualify as like a South Park Republican. It's like an actual type of thing. So, it's where I just basically agree with Matt Stone and Trey Parker on most issues, so... Oh, yeah. Well, and the funny thing is it threw everybody off because everybody was expecting them to join the bandwagon and go full liberal, full, you know, United Nations agenda. You know, they love everything about, you know, the ones who have been fucking up the planet for every, you know. So I just think it's interesting because people are like, we need to save the planet. Let's give money to all the big corporations. They'll save us. And then the government goes, yeah, with more regulation and more money, we will save you. We need to ban more things, and we need to charge you for things that you're not originally being charged for, though. So, I'm not a big fan of government, if you guys haven't figured that out. I'm, I'm more of an anarchist, but I'm like, I'm not like a, you know, crazy, everything needs to be crazy anarchist. I just think the government needs to leave everybody alone. You know? This whole American thing, which, you know, was supposed to happen, was, you know, all the power was supposed to be local. And it's not. It's fucking everything centralized and not local, you know? Well, here's the thing. We were supposed to have, for every uh, 10,000 people, or sorry, 30,000 people in the Constitution, we were supposed to have a representative. We've got a representative for every, like, 700,000 or 700,000 people instead, you know? Yeah. Well, people are like, what? Are you supposed to have a parliament of 10,000 people? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. That, you know. Yep. For sure. And and then you go into the judicial branch, which is overreaching everything and overstepping everything. And uh, the judicial branch over here is basically like, I think there's like three, uh, there's like uh, 3,000 federal judges now. While we have like 300 actual representative members, we've got 3,000 federal judges that tell us what to do. You know what I mean? So, And they're all getting paid and, you know, like all this other crap, you know, out of my taxes and all my stuff, you know, because they take a lot of my money to do that. Uh, you know, so I just, I, I get a little annoyed because it's like, I didn't want all these judges. And if you wonder why, well, it's because everybody's a lawyer who's working in politics. So, of course... Of course the lawyer is going to vote to have the judicial branch be more powerful. You know what I mean? And they're going to have more respect for that. It's not the rule of law. It's the rule of lawyers. You know? So it's just uh, so that's the real problem, I think, is all the fucking lawyers and all the fucking bankers that are running everything. 
The bankers want war and the lawyers, they want regulation. So. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to, you know, put the, yeah, I, I could see something like that. I mean, even if it wasn't that, even if it was just wall in it, <laughs> you know, would be better, you know? So. Yep. Oh, yeah. You look at, you look at Monsanto, you know, the, they flip-flop the head of the FDA and then the freaking, uh, they flip-flop, dude, back and forth, you know? And I think they're like half-brothers or something, too. You know, so it's like, it's pretty ridiculous, you know. It's all so intertwined and they're mixed together. And then people are, you know, half the people are mad at the corporations and the other half are mad at government. That's the problem, you know. So nobody's really putting together that, you know, maybe there's elements of both of it that's the problem, you know. So. Well, the problem is you get like, like, and, and the, the a big problem is the, a lot of the richest families in the world that, that actually were good families, like the Astor family, the, the, I mean, if you actually look at it, dude, the Titanic was one big plot, dude, to kill that one family. They, everybody else was collateral damage, dude, but they really were just trying to take out the Astors, dude, because they were against uh, any form of centralized bank. They, uh, they didn't want any Federal Reserve fractionalized system or anything. They just wanted straight, you know, gold to cash. You know what I mean? Keep it simple. You know? Oh, yeah. Dude, that's really, for real, dude. It's, it's just they're, they're just trying to plunder the world's wealth, dude. And it sucks because my little sister, dude, she's 100% royalist British. She went over there, dude, and she got, like, went to this special camp, dude. And they, they got her, dude. And so she's like, I mean, she's even worse than just like, you know, she's like supports the fucking most evil people in the world that are, you know, making the world so bad in the first place, you know. And I got sisters and that are freaking buying into this crap and they're doing it because they have big hearts, you know, and they're good people and, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most of the time, yeah. I mean, I, I could see very, very rare instances in the past where it's happened, but like today, I don't know. I mean, I think all the good ones have been killed. That's the thing. Like, I think all the, the legitimate ones. Now, there's a couple of people, like if you look up Lord Monton, uh, but he's actually spending all of his money. He's going broke right now because he's trying to fight in lawsuits to help other people. So he, he's actually going broke in the court system because he's trying to be honest. And I think that's the problem is when people are honest and when they are good, the, the evil people just break them, you know what I mean? So it's like, you're, you're like, you're not allowed to be a good billionaire. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, and then, it's all, it's all going into that now. That's what they want, you know? Oh yeah. We've got a rogue government. Yeah, dude. Like one that's not even like the elected anything. It's just a complete farce. Yep. No. And then you got a completely moronic, you know, group of people that believe that that doesn't exist. And so now we're fight now the people that do see it are fighting with the people that don't see it. And we're not even able to like fight the actual problem because we're too busy fucking you know, it's kind of like the pedo thing, you know? And I told a lot of people, everybody who's ripped on me for going after these pedos and actually trying to, like, expose this stuff, um, now owes an apology to every, you know, to all these kids. They've been, you know, in order to naysay me and make me look bad, they've been stopping me from actually going after the real problem. You know what I mean? So it's not me that they owe an apology to. They owe an apology to the children at that point. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's fucked, man, like. Mayor of my town, dude, they found him with like 20 kids in his basement. All chained up and shit, dude. Really fucked up shit. You can look him up. Roseburg, Oregon. Mayor Kenneth.
Then, but uh, yeah, dude, it's crazy, man. Like the real shit, dude. If you really break it down, man, there's so much going on. We're doing okay. We got seven minutes. I got my shield unit still, so I'm gonna bring my shielders in. So, thirty seconds. Yeah, that ballista is nice, dude. That's a good spot. Shoot! <laughs> uh, that did not work as well as it could have worked. <laughs> yeah, you need to, like, go back a little bit maybe next time, or... I'm bringing in shields. I got them ready, so. To level them. Yeah, that, that sucks. Oh, we gotta go for the flag. That flag is freaking almost gone. No, it's not. <laughs> Stay on it, guys. Just get them off. There's, they don't have that many guys there. They're just... Uh, damn it. I just couldn't get spawned in time. Ugh. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how you could play this game if you couldn't read. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything Chinese. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yep. I was born in 1988, so... <laughs> I did not play that game when it came out, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, dude, the Final Fantasy series, man, I've just been, I love it, man. But, like, there's a few of them that stick out, you know? And uh, and I would say 7 stuck out a lot, 9 stuck out a lot, it was very good, um, and 10 was one of them that was very good. So... Oh, granted, 10, like, you're just, like, sh in shock anyway because it's, like, they can talk. Everybody's talking. <laughs> you know, like, you don't have to sit there and read pages and pages of text, you know? Because, I mean, every game is like a book, you know? Yeah, I never really played, because uh, I just kind of, like, drifted off, yeah, once 13 hit. And... I know, yeah, from what I understand, they didn't, they kind of just men made the game not as fun anymore. Like, I think the, the last one that I played was 11. Or 12. It was 12, it was that one, yeah. It's the one where, like, they brought back the Final Fantasy Tactics world. I forgot to grab my guards again. Man, that sucks. I keep forgetting. No, I mean it's uh they're they're not in their uniforms. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I just the problem is all my units need to be in their uniforms, otherwise I can't play them. 
So that's the, that's it. You don't. They just. I mean, like like my uh, my Iron Cap Aqua Bruisers and my uh, Mercenary Aqua Bruisers. You, you can't tell the difference between them. The only difference is the rifle. So, yeah, you just, you know what I mean? So it's like, you don't know if they're going to be like super sharp shots that are going to just wreck you, or are they going to just be like the, the, the ones that are just, you know, barely, <laughs> you know, barely up to level, you know? So it's kind of fun. So it's like, I love to scare people. I'll have a bunch of peasants and they'll just, I'll see like somebody with really good units that could wreck me and run from me. <laughs> and it's just like, ah. You think I'm good. <laughs> oh, a lot of low levels this round. So Yeah, we're gonna be badasses, dude. We're we're the elite of this round, guys. You realize that? <laughs> we're like we're the commanders of this, we're the officers. Alright. Okay, let's do left. We're gonna turn left, just like NASCAR drivers. Yeah, because on our team, we've still got some low ones too. We got 50, 51, 49, 34. I think the only ones that are 60 plus that aren't us are J Shock and. Or, uh, there's a couple of them. Nah, like, we're all the ones that are. We're, yeah, we're the only high levels. So, that's kind of funny. So, we're the, the commando squad. Okay, cool. I'm uh, I'm bringing my iron caps over, and I am gonna come up the ladder in a second, right behind you. So I'm gonna help you. Let we'll kill him. We don't we don't need witnesses. <laughs> he must be eliminated. Iron caps are on their way. Cool. We got more on you, dude. They're coming. A lot more on you, dude. They're they're coming, dude. Did you die? All right. That's cool. We're good. My iron caps are up. We can fight. Let's do it. I'm I'm in, dude. I I'm stranded. <laughs> I almost made it out. <laughs> Go iron caps. <laughs> His name's actually shit though, that's the funny part. <laughs> Oh shit, what are you doing? <laughs> it's almost as good as Jesus Christ, what? Get the Escalade, we're out of here. <laughs> it's like God in a bar, you know? I know. You know what I think is really funny is I've started this campaign where I, uh, I'm trying to like wake people up, you know, just, just, you know, Brexit and the whole deal. So every British person I talk to, I tell them he sounds like Paul Joseph Watson. So that way they look him up <laughs> and it's really funny cause they do it too. But I don't know, you know, like, what does Paul Joseph Watson sound like? He sounds like a British person. So. Yeah, someone knocked down. Someone just knock, knocking down all this stuff up here. I can't climb. So there's like four heroes up there. But you know what? While they're up there watching that, they're not doing anything else. So I'm going to let them sit there and watch me. We got point A, so yeah, maybe, uh, well, no, we got some siege towers coming in. The noobs are figuring it out, so we're good. 
Ah, I got sniped. Uh, there's a uh, ballista up in the uh, castle up above us to the left. The dude's using a ballista up there, just kind of like shooting and stuff. It's not very nice. I don't know why he's doing something like that. So It's got to be like the meanest thing ever. That guy's a mean, he's a median, and possibly even a range, from what I can understand. So, math jokes. <laughs> right? I know. It's like once you leave, you never do it again. The government says that you need to know it, so do not question. Careful, I got a ballista coming, or a trap. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Did you see that trap, dude? That was cool. I got all those heroes out of the way for you. <laughs> I'm going through with the uh, the noobs at the gate. We're gonna bust through these guys. Okay, I'm getting a lot of kills right now, so. Oh, fire archers are here, so. Oh, it's one of those thingies. Okay, had to be. Nice, okay, yeah, I'm heading that way. Okay, heading your way. Oh, there's a lot of them moving to B now, though. That's the only problem. So we got to take it quick. Sending my intimidating watchmen. <laughs> that archer is mine.
All right, I held it for as long as I could. So <laughs> there's some guys coming in to reinforce me now, though. So looks like B is going to hold for a bit on that gap. So. I did sacrifice my watchman to hold it though. Hope you guys are happy. My, my watchman all died for B. I hope you guys are all happy with yourselves. Mm. Oh, well, they're all noobs, dude. On both sides. Both sides, dude. It's all noobs. You can't you can't expect our team to do anything. We're the officers, dude. We have to actually make the work happen. Yeah, they're all low, dude. They're in like 20s to 50s, dude. We're, we're the only high levels. So, like if anything is going to get done, dude, it has to be us. <laughs> but they are putting on the fight, you know, doing the main infantry for us. They're going right in, letting their guys die. You know what I mean? So we can use that. We can let them do the main fight for us while we do the commando shit. So. Let's go see. Yep. All right. I just saw all those people. Yeah. Now let's go to, let's go to C now. This is perfect. Okay, I'm attacking C right now, so. Need some help to see. Or we it's getting hot here. Trying. Mm. I'm down. Bam. Mm. Damn. Yeah, I'm down. None. You guys use your trebuchets yet? <laughs> if you haven't used them, use them now. We need them. <laughs> I'll spawn in in 20 seconds. Damn. Wow, the gunner melee doesn't do a lot of damage. Watching this guy. I'm just noticing it's like terrible. Oh. Mm. 
<laughs> seeing him hit like a guy like six times and it's just one crossbowman and he hit it so many times. Didn't take it out. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Damn it, I couldn't get him. I had so many guys trying to kill me to stop me from killing this archer, and I was trying to kill the archer. Hmm. Tried to save you, but yeah, you just like gave up. <laughs> Oh, I got a kill! Woo! <laughs> One of my riflemen got a kill. That's awesome. <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> I killed a lot of troops. That's usually what I do. <laughs> I don't get any kills for heroes. They usually get away, but I kill all their soldiers. So... All right. Yeah, let's do a uh, cool. Let's do a uh, like a five minute break. Sound good? <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, let's. Uh, it's it's thirty on the hour, so we'll meet at like thirty six on the hour. Sounds good. All right.